Hello guys, so in today's episode we're going to be talking about how to deform and sculpt a mesh inside um, Unreal Engine 4. So to start what we're going to do, we're going to use a sphere. We're going to use a material for it as well to make it look a little bit better probably. Okay, it looks good. Um, hit accept and then let's go ahead and use our deform tab in the modeling mode that we have here. So vSculpt means that if you are having some polygons, you can change the transform of every polygon using the vSculpt. Let me show you how. So just left click on it and you can Oh, the mirror the symmetry is on. Okay, I don't want to use symmetry. So you can probably, uh, the strength is too much size. I want to lower the strength a little bit. So maybe that way we can have something that's not as intense and strong. And with uh, holding control on your keyboard and left click, you can just go down. With left click alone, you can sculpt it up. Um, you can have fall off as well. So it will be just really strong. But with a little bit of fall off, we can go a little bit smoother. But... So, as you could see, the sculpting was it really smooth. If we want to make it really, really smooth, what we can do is, first of all, we can use a subdivide to uh, probably something like two would do the job to smooth the mesh out and then start um, sculpting on it because you know sculpting is the work on the polygons so we need more polygons to work on so it is way way smoother at the moment as you can see or oh, maybe we can just go down a little bit you have the option smooth in here as well Yeah, you have to wait for the styling mesh to be built after it. Um, look at that. Look how cool that is. Okay. Um, you have the option to hit smooth and then it will even make it more smooth, which is cool. Okay. Um, so what if we have a box in here? Uh, yeah, I have to wait for it all the time. What if we have a box in here which doesn't have as much polygons? Well, you can't simply use the vSculpt because vSculpt works on the polygons, not on the mesh itself. So if I just try to use Okay, I have to first accept um, vSculpt, okay. It doesn't do anything. It only works on polygons. So you can um, sculpt the polygons, but not on the mesh itself. To fix that, we have dynamic sculpt. You can just go ahead and um, sculpt your mesh wherever you want you can actually change the meshes change you can dynamically create um polygons and change the polygon transform and it's as easy as that i didn't really find this one useful either way you can just go ahead and use subdivide to have more or 
if you if you are using a box you can have like 10 10 10 uh, subdivision and then you can use the vSculpt tool it works either way but you have the dynamic sculpt as well which I mean it's an opportunity to use but anyway um, so we have that it looks not bad um, so we've explained smooth header what about offset so offset is offsetting the mesh based on the sculpt that you've created so you can uh, sculpt the mesh a little bit and then intensify that sculpt by using the offset and you have iterative and implicit Yeah. Um, you have the smoothness, smoothness as well. You have a lot of options. I mean, I've I've always tried to um recommend you to go ahead and play around with all the settings you can see around here. So this is offset. What about warp? Well, warp something that you can use to actually warp the mesh based on the gizmo that you are uh, given. So this is something else you can use. You can bend it, you can squish the mesh, you can do a lot of other things with it, twist and like creating a potato would be nice in here. Uh, this looks like, looks like a potato. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with it, so let it Build the static mesh again. Doesn't look bad at all with just a warp. Uh, and then we have this one. If you've already worked with 3D Studio Max or Blender, you are definitely familiar with this one. You can use these uh, points to drive the whole mesh around. Yeah, and then hit cancel because I don't want to build the mesh again. So if you want to, without doing anything, use a uh, displacement map or a random noise with a little bit less strength, probably something like one. You can do that actually, and it looks so damn good. Or maybe a purling noise would be nice. Uh, maybe a tree. Okay, this looks cool actually. Look at that. Um, and you have the random seed. You can change the seed. You can change the um, method to do it. But P and Trigon has always been better. I guess you don't really need to change the subdivision. It's going to make the mesh really 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 heavy so i would go ahead with one it's like the best option you can have here um or sine wave if you want to create a uh an ocean a water probably sine wave is the way to go maybe 10 to show you yeah you can't really see it in here let's go ahead and use perlin for now uh, five is nice except let's wait for the mesh and it doesn't it wasn't that bad um use a plane except and then we are going to create a water with it displace pearly noise no a sine wave and ten Five. Um. Probably twenty would be good too. Okay, so 
you will get a sine wave which is equal to a wave in water. You can have that too. Uh, let me just change the options for the sine wave. Uh, I didn't like this actually. So display sine wave. Okay, so I'm I'm going to change the frequency to something like this, and probably I want it to be lower. Maybe two would be nice. And look at that! Now we have a. Cool wave. Get that. Okay, I like that. Um, let's give it a material as well. Maybe a water. I don't know if that's a good idea because the water is already animated. Um, maybe an ocean. Ocean is less animated, probably. Yeah, that 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 looks better. It doesn't look much better though, but it's it's not bad. Um, and that is pretty much it. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please hit that like button. Cheers.